talking to you from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. If you remember inside 2015, the President Dr. Nesbai Koma um, Bisak, the first and Vice President Alaji Samsumana, and a place with um, Ambassador B Victor Bokarifu. This decision will be good on where with Samsumana and be going at the Supreme Court in Asalon. Usai, um, the Miguel Fo will say um, the President get right for pull on the office because he don't lost the membership in, uh, in political party where he be there. Well, Alaji Samsumana be taking this matter going at the ECOWAS court. We saw this case on the carry on for some time now, and governments not be good representation of this case. And finally, yesterday, the ECOWAS court in Abuja don't give ruling. Well, on the line now from Abuja, we get journalist Ibrahim Samura. We be day live now the court session and go tell you what really happened day yesterday. Good morning, Ibrahim, and welcome to the program. Hello, Ibrahim. Hi, good morning, and take point one. Yes. That's what tell me about um, how the atmosphere be look like um, now the court yesterday where the judge then now the court court be the gider ruling. Um, of course, um, 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 it was it was um, um, jubilation on the part of families of um, um, you know um, the former vice president um, Alaji Samuel Samsumana. But but then um, what was interesting there now the, the, the fact that. Um, and um, many people, including lawyers, we witnessed the trial. See, it looks like a landmark thing because um, the echo has got ever in the history of its existence. No, ever don't be always they deal with small, small, small cases like a real individuals. They take you know, government in, to court to the court for either payment or not payment on, on issues of transactions. But that this one now it was the first of the biggest of. A case where the court don't, don't hold, and then it was dealing with um, a former vice president who was seeking legal redress on an um, um, issue of a removal by an um, um, in, in government. So that, that was that was really that was really a landmark thing to a number of lawyers. We particularly I talked to, and then um, how they, they, they viewed it. But then we should also look at an um, what thing that this case we an. Um, some someone have been bringing before the Equus court. And then um, the courts in the verdict, they say some someone have been asked for a right to fair hearing. They been also asked for a right to participate in politics where they not been there. He also been asked I mean, for a right to due process of the law. He, over and above all, they, they ask, also ask that I mean, the court look into a removal from office where he see was unlawful and then also ask for damages and cost. So what in the courts end up say because we know what the one they were popular now and the one on the cost in salary and other benefits mm -hmm. they say the government for GAM and self um where they say okay, yes that that yes that that's that's the cost yes 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 it's popular but then also waiting waiting much much more interested in this context na the na the unlawful Removal where the court say the the, the, um, the the salon government and the and president Kuma not being utterly get any right for remove um, um, the vice president from office. Now on the issue of um, damages, the, the court say um, the uh, government of Sierra Leone because they remove this man as vice president or wrongly, therefore pay everything. Everything will be due from right from the time we then pull up from office to the time we in time be done constitutionally. And what in the account for them make a total calculation of monetary value on things including in salary, allowances, and prerequisite. In fact, in the prerequisite, then they look at and then they think the way vice president for benefit when you go at our office. Day. That is, if you do forget car. From that end to now, then they put her into monetary value and pay that, that cost. If if I get a um, telephone benefit, top of cards, and um, health benefit, you know, um, holidays or vacation, all them things and then put them together and say they forbid them to um, um, the 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 former vice president they, they, they able for to put like to almost money, the money that they will cost the court will talk about almost money that they will cost well well um, i think after the the, 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 the the verdict is read the lawyer of um samsumana 
Atuguba, Raymond Atuguba, a Ghanaian, of course, because um, the, the lead council winner and um, Femi Felana virtually not been being caught for an unavoidable reason. Being therefore come up with that, say, and um, be cut stop the cost, but in not, in not tell what in the written court. So the, 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 the president of the court when a French Malian, being therefore say that would be handled with an um, um, office of the registry, regis registry, and then once that is done, it will be communicated to the lawyers for um, their understanding. Right. Um, Ibrahim, let me look at the, the aspects of um, reinstating some Sumana with some. Um, plenty of people um, so far the action they would only get in a salon even on social media now how Danny were possible for Kari and State Samsumana again as vice president in a salon well, well uh, um, the court not directly say therefore we State Samsumana in fact it make a clear say it don't, go, it don't decide for touch on that for two reasons one uh, 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 the, the lapse as uh, 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 predicated by we, we, the laws of Sierra Leone and the Constitution. And then he also looked at um, um, the issue of security. He said, because they're not the ones for creating a situation where chaos within the country. But then they emphasize on the fact that um, um, Sam Sumana was wrongly removed and then go to a point for even define jurisdiction when the argument with the government of Sierra Leone put forward vis-a-vis -vis the, 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 the matter before the echo was called. So, and um, say what do you say specifically? Article, article of, um, yes, what do you say in A of 1 that government said they make representation because they feel say the courts now there is jurisdiction over Salon and 2 um, the um, Supreme Court's ruling will be the happen on the same case. First of all, they make a clear say in fact, the exact word they use, they say, um, the argument put forward by the Sierra government on the area of jurisdiction completely in, 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 on unintelligible. We need to say, it don't make any sense. And what even do they tell for, for even say, Article 9.4 and Article 10B on the protocols for the establishment of the court make clear of, of that of reasons of jurisdiction on member states and it says Sierra Leone has signature to, to that. So if Sierra Leone denounce in a jurisdiction, that is completely out of context and it, it not make any sense. All right. Well we have for taking place thank you very general Ilan um, Ibrahim Samurai journalist from Sierra Leone. We witnessed this um ruling in Abuja yesterday and um we will follow up on for no witness the latest way they happened there today. And we still there on the issue of the first and vice president um Sam Sumana we echo us yesterday Gil ruling. Well, Radio Democracy Michael Sambola meets with the Attorney General Minister of Justice, Joseph Isjira Kamara, we can respond. We don't see the release it, but uh, we don't they observe on different uh, media outlets. Say the ECOWAS court don't give a decision on the application of the former vice president. Yes, we don't aware about it, and we don't take a position as a government. So you still don't take a position, it's not this position? The position that the same we've been get before for say ECOWAS not get jurisdiction. Meaning they know the right to handle the case where we young courts they don't done with the Supreme Court when are the highest court in the land based on what in the constitution say for let them say go yeah, yeah. the equals court for real opinion at the law office not to court of appeal for salon. And at the basis stand they will make on an make representation at government? Yes, certainly Zambola. When we tell them say they don't get jurisdiction that they don't get right to so hear that case day, we don't go there. We say no to them business. We don't do with the case in this country. The highest courts in the land don't take a decision. We now so the constitution say. And we accept them, we live by that. And that is the end of it. I remember in an interview where they talk about you go defend what the president do no matter what happen, you go stand by in land and sea. So what go wrong with that point today? Nothing will go wrong with that point there. If you mean there uh, any legitimate court, we get right for hearing the case, we go did it. But this is not court, we don't get right for hearing the case. And in any country, we didn't call the basic law, not the constitution. We are the highest law in the country, and we work by that. 
due process may apply in that case. You go to the High Court, you go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court sit down and listen, then give judgment. We all accept it in the judgment. Not to all tell you, they forget judgment in your favor, you gladly. But when you go to the Equus Court, the Equus Court then get the new mandate. They don't get mandate for review judgments of the Supreme Court. We are a sovereign state of Sion. Meaning, say no other body, no day will they dictate what till we come to Lord on talk. Right. If you look, salon governments don't adhere to a ruling of the Equus Court, not to the Equus Court to give ruling with salon government they adhere to that businessman on that board boat stuff. Government don't adhere, they don't pay them kind of compensation they, to a real businessman with Equus Court being give judgment to. So, why the difference? Well, at the good point now, and they who side in their jurisdiction, we apply. We, have, we 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 comply with what they say. That means say we respect them all. Who say they correct? Who say we know say they no get right? If they pass any judgment, we know they accept them and we know they recognize them. So sign of the rights where they no get because the judgment they talk about the president Koma government sack a illegal one. They for pay them uh, all the money since 2015. And most importantly, they say for we still them back in imposition. So who say they no get right? Who said they not get right now for even hearing the case in the first place? When we know Supreme Court don't decide, they don't confirm the legality of the process. They not get right for Kamba can review with Constitution. They not get right for can review with Supreme Court. Now that are the toxic, they not get right at all. We get a recent case of Taib Ba. Despite the outcome, we still get a negotiated settlement. So we come to in a country law abiding where they follow the law, even international law, where it is correct. In this particular instance, this specific case of Samsumana, we say no, we not get right. So when they insist they get right, we say okay, we not try it. We not do na yung boku talk. We not mix that court. So they don't make them judgment now. What in government they think about the judgment? We get simple statement to they make regarding that. Not to be business, we not do inside day, we not participate, we not recognize the judgment, and we not support them, and we not comply by that. So the government not so pay the money you mean to the former vice president, and also government they think of against the time back and in position. It is interesting we come to issues of dismissal. In issues of dismissal in public law and employment law, we don't dismiss policy in order to claim of right to in benefits and other issues. That is the situation. But in the same case, in the same vein, His Excellency the President get a prerogative if he feel like. There are procedures for that. If former Vice President Alajis Amsumana want make claims for any benefit, he know what he for do. Yes. And if the President feel for exercise the prerogative, for sorry for her, he can sorry for her. But as a matter of law, where there is a dismissal, he will come back and ask for benefit. You think that this is a matter of for sorry for him rather than what he entitled to? Well, the entitlement is a question of law, and the courts then in this country don't decide that. Many people who I talk to um, see because the you know, gets a clear judgment with them, they expect it, they don't question even the salon judiciary. Well, it's a point of where you go say question, everybody free for talk with you and talk with you, say they talk cheap. But within the law, is very clear. You get to accept a judgment, you know, say because the judgment no favor you, so therefore the judgment's wrong. In this particular instance, we don't even look at the merits of the judgment. When the talk say they know for your leader case they don't get right. We come to the issue of his claim or fundamental breaches of his rights and other issues. That was also dealt with in our courts. And we get law the way they apply and they are beneficial things. And at the same time, we can always say there has to be an end to litigation. If case begins, side way for tap we for finish. The Equus Court inside mandate, no we are not in the Equus protocol. We talk say in a court of appellate jurisdiction. Meaning say na court we can appeal go to from the Supreme Court. No part no the way it talks so. And at that issue we address to the registrar. In as much as we don't make a case, then then go ahead for hear the case and self grant or then, then pass judgment. And you not think say for not comply, then they will question the relationship with Salon get with Equus. Well, of course, there has always been a few recent dealings with the Equus Court. As a lawyer myself, I did inquiry with many of the judgments of the Equus Court. I did inquiry with the um, interpretation of the mandate. But definitely, the personal query or the office query may they interfere with which we believe in the legal rights of persons. And so, therefore, the decision we don't take, we still not participate. Then, are they decision? In terms of enforcement, we will not be a party to it and we continue to get any exposure of liability under those circumstances.
We're not getting the enforcement of judgment consequence. Like I get in other countries, in other international treaties, what we call enforcement of international judgments. We don't get that type of relationship. And most certainly also, we will be members of ECOWAS. And this now, you're quite correct, it will trigger a questioning relationship with the different heads of government in relationship with ECOWAS. Because no government of the 16 member states will accept a decision such as this. Because if you not be careful, the ECOWAS court will wake one net and change any government. People who go argue, you now this time they talk about for the first time the procedure for sack elected vice president. Now they the question be there and now they the whole thing begin. Yes, that was the question. What the courts have decided. So we when they not make this then judgment and then come see now the ruling this to the government for a day or two. What thing will be the step? We're not getting no step in the Nigerian the business. What in then decide that in business? The former vice president. Tell her, listen to her, I say, even for one hour, self, for let come back and serve for sure. Say the process where the president be used for pull him illegal and unconstitutional. He will dearly serve. With that kind of mandate, now we get any kind of spirit and they coming back now the country. When government not ready for change and stand. Do you not think say now room for conflict? I found that statement very interesting while listening to the discussion. Because I will they come back. One day nobody will drop him. Now he go for himself. If he say they come back, my country can come. A citizen is welcome. But I will they come, now you go advise yourself. What is the legal thing we get for do? Inside Salon, the law don't decide. We have now a sitting vice president who is occupying the office. If you come, you will claim say you are not vice president or any other position you own. And so therefore, you they come for car enforcer in any other means. I want to say I go do that one day. The vice president office was a busa ID. We come, let work go day, go take in place if that gets there. And we continue for look um, inside this issue as we talk to more people and Musa one private lawyer so Manjami will say the outcome of the Ecowas court between former Vice President and uh, Chief Alaji Samsumana and the government of Salon for be serious concern to Salon government and people um, as he says Salon has signity to the Ecowas um, Court of Justice. So Manjami will inside this interview we make sure you explain more. Court finally don't give verdict relating to the complaints with former Vice President Alhaji Samsumana because when the echo was caught. I'm not privy to the text of the judgment yet. Um, Mr. Fuili, while for read them and see what in the jurisprudence, look at the ratio, the obiter. But I think if that is the situation, it's going to impact considerably on the jurisprudence and also on the justice system. What do you mean it gets an impact on the justice system? We all know say the Supreme Court with a panel of five justices. We don't hand down a decision, and that decision they not be they in favor of Alhaji Samsumana will be warrant a recourse to the ECOWAS court. For me, it's like an imbroglio now because the Supreme Court, which is the highest court of the land, had given a decision saying that what the president did was constitutional. So if the ECOWAS Court of Justice now don't come with a decision and it is suggesting that what was done to Samsumana was not proper, then it means now we have two contradictory situations. The ECOWAS court just don't pass a verdict between the former vice president and the salon government. Two things will clearly come out. The court actually they ask the government of salon for actually reinstate the former vice president and say we so pay all in benefits them back. As a lawyer, you think say as much as the country gets another vice president of the country, this in any way possible? For me, it is the issue which has to do with whether constitutional guarantees have been vindicated. The other aspect we want to make me comment on, let's say the court is asking for Samsumana to be reinstated and let's say the court is also asking for damages to be given to Samsumana. The court no one for make an order in vain and this as we say, it's an international jurisprudence that is growing. You have yet say government actually not been send any representative now the ECOWAS court for represent the state on this matter. This in any way gets any effect both positive or negative on the state? Well, first of all, now government be elect the option not for submit to the jurisdiction of ECOWAS. And because they take the decision not for submit to the jurisdiction of the ECOWAS, if they send any representative, it will constitute a waiver of the objection. Once you don't object to the jurisdiction of a court, then you know for submit to them. But I think that would have some far-reaching implications because this brings me to a very important issue, and this is very important. The question as to whether the decisions of the ECOWAS Court of Justice binding on 
member states. Me think say member states they not meet and sign up to protocols and sign up to treaties in vain. They are bringing the analogy of what we call a valid contract. You get three elements where they constitute a valid contract. You get the elements of agreement inside the parties the way they contract. Therefore, be very clear as to the subject matter of the contract. You have consideration and then you get intention for be legally bound. And this is not the general rule. The presumption is that when parties then they go into a contractual dealing, it is presumed that they intend to be legally bound. So Sierra Leone legally bounded? Well, this is the question. Because the issue is, if you as a member state go sign up to an ECOWAS treaty, and you as a member state go sign up to a protocol where they set up the ECOWAS Court of Justice, then by necessary implication, you are saying, I am prepared to honor the decisions of the organization to which I am a signatory. That is the issue. According to government, say the outcome of the verdict of the ECOWAS Court, they know the acceptor. As a lawyer, you think, say, this in any way will affect the country or the state? Once you sign up, you are a signatory to a treaty, you are a signatory to the protocol, by necessary implication, there are contractual obligations. And I think for me, really, it's an imbroglio. What does that mean? It's an unfortunate and absurd situation. I think it doesn't set a good precedent. Now, the reason why I want to make we take this seriously as Sierra Leoneans now this. When they set up the ECOWAS protocol, when the protocol was enforced in 1993, we set up the ECOWAS Court of Justice. When they say in 2005, the ECOWAS Court of Justice now has jurisdiction not only to hear, but also to determine cases relating to violation of human rights. As a matter of fact, then the GIDA Court the jurisdiction for interpret and enforce the African Charter on Peoples and Human Rights. And that is a very fundamental charter where they deal with human rights for member states. And Sierra Leone is a signatory. So if the ECOWAS Court of Justice will now come with a decision that speaks volume about our human rights situation, me think say as a Sierra Leonean, it's a cause for concern. And so if somebody wants to ask the question how serious is this decision, whether as a government we should think very seriously about it, I am not forcing anything through the throats of government but make things say when you sign up to a treaty you sign up to a contract the presumption in law is that you intend to be legally bound